Hello and welcome to EJ Gaming. Last time we revealed almost all of the secret rooms of Raven 3, and now it's time for the last world, the Tower of the Leptis and the Sovar Secret. Before the main event, there are actually two smaller hidden rooms that can be found in the level. Let's check them out. When you come back to this area, you encounter a Hoodstormer. Defeat him and you're rewarded with a jello can. Fly up through this entrance in the wall and you'll find a shitload of jello gems. One of them, the one that floats in the air and is shining more brightly than the others, is worth as much as the treasures you can sometimes get from the teensies. The second hidden room is located in the third part of the final boss. You jump through this narrow opening and drop down on a small ledge. Follow the path to a little room with a green crystal. So, time for the main event. When walking towards the final boss, you might notice the two canary statues by the wall. But you're probably so eager to kick some ass upstairs, you just pass by it without question. But what these statues really are, is a door that leads to the legendary secret of the Soar. This door will only open during some very accurate circumstances. There are many theories, and the first one we decided to try was that you were supposed to have a certain point percentage on each part of the level. On the first one, 100%, the second one, 90%, and the third one, 80%. We tried that many times, but it showed out to be pure bullshit. And there we were, staring into a wall like idiots, without any clue of what to do. So we asked some random people on YouTube that actually got the door to open. Even though we weren't able to open the door, we got one step closer to it every time we tried. Eventually we got in contact with YouTube user Akusa Shan, and she gave us the final explanation how to open the door. And we are extremely thankful for that. Why do we collect points in the course of the game? No one has cared for points since the Atari era. Sure, you can unlock some bonuses, but that's no sweat. You don't need any hidden treasures to get that amount of points. So, aren't they good for something that really matters? Oh yeah, they are. You are going to need all of the Smiles of Murphy to unlock the Sora secret. All of the levels except for the Tower of the Leptis. And even with all the secret rooms and treasures, that's not an easy task. So try to score big! But that's not all. You may also need all of the Teensy Cages. But that's not confirmed, but something that is confirmed is that you need to collect a minimum of 43,000 points on the level before you get to the part with the door. Well, it's about time we show you this room. Let's take a look inside. Yes, me. With the energy from your mighty scepter, I will be able to reproduce infinitely! <laughs> So that was the Sovar secret for you. Four green gems, which is the highest number of those in one area. And there's also three caged animals, a blue bird, and a blue version of the creature that gets shaved by the black lumps in the opening, and of course the creature that gave the room its name, the Sovar. Now we'll show you every single hidden room in Raymond 3, and how to open the Sovar room. Now that is how you do it.